Hello, this is Spyro and this is a little tutorial explaining how to use the Fruity Scratcher. Uh, what we need here basically uh, to start with is in a mixer channel we need a Fruity Scratcher, Fruity Compressor, a Fruity Filter in high pass mode and a Fruity Balance to mute the whole mixer channel. We also need a Fruity Envelope Controller to send information to the Fruity Balance using a pair of keys on a standard uh, musical keyboard. And let's, let's start by setting up the envelope here. So I delete this point and try to make a really fast curve about 10 milliseconds in and 10 milliseconds out when I press or depress a uh, key. Uh, the next thing to do here is to check this uh, button here uh, which makes the envelope uh, unipolar instead of bipolar and lower the maximum value to 80%. Uh, the next thing to do is to assign two keys. You can use all the keys but it's better to assign just two. And the next thing you should do is to link the balance plugin to the uh, curve we already made. In this case, I'm using articulation number one. And that's it. Uh, so when I press C4 or D4, I'm getting sound out of the fruity scratcher and mixer channel because I'm sending information with the envelope controller to the fruity balance controller here. You can see how it moves. The next thing to do is to set up a little bit uh, the, the fruity scratcher because the default preset is not as responsive as you may need, right? So what I usually do is to raise this knob up to here and if you have a standard mouse you better keep it here or at the top or if you have a um, laser mouse or some kind of gamer grade uh, professional mouse you should uh, lower this knob to almost the bottom, not zero point, but almost the bottom. Then uh, another thing I guess is important here is when I release the, uh, the mouse, the acceleration is a little slow, right? It's like having a low torque uh, um, turntable. So what I need is to raise this acceleration now up to the top. So when I release it, when I release the mouse, I'm pressing the mouse in this area here. When I release it, it's really faster, right? And the last thing to do here by now is to adjust the sensitivity now and all I can say about this knob is the longer the sample, the lower the sensitivity and the shorter the sample, the higher the sensitivity you need. You will find yourself when you try. And we are basically done here. So let's record something, right? Uh, if I open the playlist here, I can see a pattern already there and a loop which is this one it's from Bidi Bye Bye Cypress Hill and I've set these two marks here which are prepare and start to explain the simple fact that when I have to record a scratch I need to prepare 
my hands uh, before write. So if I need to record here, I need to prepare or start, uh, or both, start recording and prepare my hands around this first bar. I usually use one or two bars depending on the tempo of the song. And another thing is really important here is to already place a pattern there because you are you when you prepare yourself you are uh, actually recording the start point of the scratcher and you need they you need that recorded because if you don't do that you will get a jump in the automation and well uh, i guess we can record something here so i prepare my keyboard hand right my left hand and start recording three four Okay, so um, if you see inside the automation and the notes, you'll see the envelope controller notes I've recorded with my fingers, two fingers, using two fingers, this is C4 and D4, and you can also see the automation inside the turntable. And you can also see the whole events that were uh, recorded in that take. So when you want to modify any scratch you already recorded, um, this, uh, the turntable, the hold parameter and the notes, they are very important. Uh, in this case, right? Um, I guess, well, one more thing to explain here is if you're in the middle of a project, you don't really want to set up everything every time you want to add some scratch, right? So let's say I have a, an empty project here and I only have. Uh, the loop and I want to record something right so um, there is an envelope controller in every one of my templates with this uh, preset which has the curve already set in all of the articulations and I also have, let's say I have the scratcher here, so I load a mixer track state with the scratcher in there, and you can find inside the mixer channel a scratcher, a parametric equalizer, fully filter, uh, which is in high pass mode, um, fully compressor, and the fully balance. So the first thing I do when I load the mixer track state is to load the fruity balance and link it to the articulation in uh, which is already there right and click OK and that's it so I so I only have to load some kind of uh, sample here and play and that's it um, I guess this is pretty much all about this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Uh,